Hi my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back. Today we're doing a chit chat, sit down, story time. I don't know where this video is gonna go. If you're down for just a girl, fun, story time, prison wife, chit chat, sit down, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I'm the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here, but I will teach you how to make the best out of this really painful, hopefully one shot deal. Okay, so I did an unboxing of this necklace, but you guys know me, my Adam necklace, which I will always keep a link to it in the description box below from now on because it's incredible and you guys all need one. I'm actually going to get another one with my own name, but I wanted his name first. When I unboxed it, I told a story about when I did too many air quotes <laughs> and this was the shirt I was wearing. So I'll put that story in right here. You guys know I have a story time or a story that goes along with everything. So let's talk prison wife visit and necklaces because we're gonna honor my name necklace that I just like seriously never wanna take off ever again. I always go through a phase with my nails. You guys who are girls, like girly girls, and you do your hair and your nails and your makeup and all that stuff, we all go through phases, right? Sometimes we put on our nails, sometimes we get them done, sometimes we don't, we have to let them breathe, which is just an excuse for I'm running out of money and I need my bank account to get a little fatter before I do it again, or I'm lazy and I don't wanna have to make an appointment every two weeks, which I push mine back to every four, and then the nail starts to lift when it grows out and gets stuck in my hair when I'm sleeping or I'm shampooing, and ugh. My friends and I talk about that all the time and we think it's like the most disgusting, grossest thing ever, if you agree, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. So I went through a phase where I was letting my nails breathe, <laughs> saving some dough, and I discovered press-on nails. I would drive to visit, obviously with no nails on, and I would bring my whole little manicure kit with me with my fake press-on nails, or I would go to Walmart when I got there and I would go buy a set of nails because they were like seven or eight dollars. You can even get them at the dollar store now. I couldn't find them there back then. Then, right before bed, I would size each nail because it comes in a package. I should go get the package. All right, these are all of my press-on nails. If they go on sale and stuff when I was wearing them a lot and going to visit a lot, then I would just get them and then save them for when I wanted to use them. And they have all different lengths. Like they have a sports length, which is not jersey enough for me. Oh, this is the exact set I was wearing. Yes. I was going with these really long matte coffin shape nails. Like that's the thumbnail. They come out great. They're worth it. And most people can get them to last for two weeks. I'm so rough with my hands. If I can get them to last a day, we're lucky. Especially for a visit because I wait until the morning to put them on and it's the very last thing I do before I leave the hotel room. And I don't care. I know, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's a thing. I don't know if it's a prison wife thing. I don't know what it is. But as much time as I give myself is what it will take to get myself ready to go to visit or to go anywhere. So if I wake up two hours early and I only really need an hour to get ready, it'll take me all two hours and then I'm rushing at the end of the two hours. It's like Murphy's Law. Well, that's not Murphy's Law, but it's a law that's like Murphy's Law. I don't know, who knows what that law is called. I'm making it up, but it's something, I'm telling you. This morning I get up and one of you lovelies suggested that I get black eyelash glue because I was asking about eyelash glue and I needed a new brand because the one I had wasn't really working for me great anymore and they were lifting. So this beautiful soul says that she uses black eyelash glue but what she didn't realize is that your girl is a slob kebab. I'm rough on my hands. I'm rough with everything, right? So it's not just like, oh, daintily little put that the black glue on the lash, let it get sticky, put it on. I'm like, smushing it on there and now I have black glue all here, all here. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but it literally took me 45 minutes to do my lashes, one lash, one lash that day. I got one on great, then I went to go do the second one and it was just, it wasn't working for me that day. And then I had to like redo my concealer and then the glue got stuck and it was just 
the hot mess express of my life. So now here we are. I have probably five minutes left before I have to get out the door and get there. Otherwise, they're not going to let me in. And then I have to go back after count, which is its own experience in itself. So I slap these nails on, right? Probably half ass. Like you're supposed to hold them down, let them set a little bit. Your girl didn't have time for that. So I just slap them on and I'm like, good enough. Let's go. I get there and you know the drill. You have to take off your jewelry before you go through the metal detector and then put it back on. And I was wearing, I was wearing this really cool layered necklace. I have been looking for a layered necklace that's all attached for years, a silver one. I finally found the perfect one. I love this necklace. I'm going to pop pictures up there from when we went to the prisoner family conference. I wore it a couple times. I just loved this necklace. So I actually probably didn't put it on because a lot of times I won't even put on my jewelry before I go in. I'll just throw it all in the plastic bag because what's the point in having to take it off with nails and all that stuff. So I tried to put it back on after I go through the scanner and the metal detector and I can't get it back on. And I was like, when I'm sitting there waiting for him to come out of the back, which usually takes like 15 or 20 minutes, I'll put it on then. No biggie. We had some issues on the way in that day. I don't remember if people are having trouble with the metal detector. I don't know if the cops were just taking their sweet time, which they love to do. I don't remember what happened, but what I do remember is it had been hours since I had eaten and I drank my coffee. I downed my coffee on the way there because I have to get it in so I don't get a headache. But if I drink it too fast, then it's like you get the jitters. You guys know the drill. Or if you don't, if you're not a prison wife, now you know what we experience the morning of visit, or at least me. Most people are normal. I'm not so much. So downed my coffee. It had been too many hours. I am hangry, girl. I am hangry. I can't get this necklace back on. When I go to put on a necklace anytime, because I'm getting old and I need glasses and I refuse to go to the eye doctor because I have 20-20. Until somebody tells me I don't have 20-20, which I don't anymore, but until somebody tells me that, I have it. That's what I was always told. That's what I have. I refuse to have bad eyesight. <laughs> Your girl needs glasses. So every time I'm like up close like this, I can't see. So now I'm trying to get this together. It's a layered necklace. I keep dropping it because of these freaking nails. And now it's all getting twisted together. Now it's getting knotted. So I'm like laying it on the table. I'm hangry. It's pissing me off. Now I'm scared that the cops are going to yell at me. And in my head, I have this whole situation going on that hasn't even happened or won't happen. I'm like freaking out in my head. Like I'm going to tell them this if they say anything about my necklace. And then it's my necklace. I need to put it on. As I'm doing this, <laughs> It's probably a good 10 minutes that I can't get this freaking necklace to go. I have it on my jeans, trying to get it to work, trying to unknot it, finally get the knot undone, go to put it on, and my nail, boop, goes flying. So now I'm extra pissed off. I just lost a nail. I'm not allowed to have nail glue in there. I look like Jersey trash with these nine long claws and one knot, nothing, nothing, just a short, stubby, nothing. I go to put the necklace back on and my second nail pops off and it falls in my lap and I look up and there's Adam and I, <laughs> and he's just standing there like waiting for me to jump up and give him a hug and a kiss and say hello and I threw my nail at <laughs> him and I was like Ugh! and he just looks at me like everything okay? <laughs> What's going on? And I was like my necklace man my nail! And, and then I just laughed at myself because you know when you get hangry and something happens and you explode and then it makes you laugh, thank God, because sometimes you get hangry and everything just makes you hangrier and moodier. Thank God it, it, this was one of the times where I could just laugh at myself. And I got up and I kissed him hello and I was like, sorry. And we just ignored it, right? And then later in the afternoon, I had to go open up a sandwich. So when you get food from the vending machines there now, you have to open it up at the cop's desk. You have to get up out of your chair. You have to get a plate by the vending machines. You have to put this wrap sandwich on the plate, bring both of those things over to the cop's desk, wait for the cop to give you their attention, to turn their back, blah, blah, blah. Stop talking to each other, hanging out, playing around. <laughs> Look at you, watch you open it. So now it's this woman cop who I absolutely adore. I've told stories about her in the past. She's really cool. It's her and this other guy sitting there and I'm opening <laughs> And as I'm opening the sandwich, Two more nails fly off. And I just looked at her and I go, my nail. 
And I started laughing. And then I was like, that was embarrassing. And she's like, oh girl, don't be embarrassed. It was better your nail than your hair. I've seen that one happen. You know how many times I've seen hair fly off at the metal detector? And I was like, really? She's like, yeah, you're fine. I just sat there. <laughs> I love this woman. I really genuinely do. She's like, yeah, don't worry about it. And I went on my merry way. I went back to sit next to Adam and I peeled every single one of my nails that was left over off and I put them in my bag and I will never forget, I have this little Ziploc bag that I keep all my singles in. And when I'm not at visit, I keep it in the console of my car until my car got broken into and $60 was stolen out of there one time, but that's a story for another time. And by broken into, I mean, I didn't lock my doors and kids were checking door handles in the middle of the night and robbing stuff out of cars. So I don't do that anymore, but I also don't go to visit anymore. But anyway, so I go to pick that bag up out of there like a month later, I had forgotten. And I was like, oh, Oh yeah, Jersey trash all day long. Who just has press on nails in a bag of singles? Like just like a whole bag of singles and a random press on nail. Do you guys understand, you guys as in men? I think you men don't understand what we ladies experience and go through for you. I mean for us too, I do it for me. Adam doesn't care what I look like at visit. He always tells me I look beautiful. Whether I'm in sweatpants and a ponytail or full glam lashes and all. He's so sweet and he tells me I look beautiful the second he walks in to visit every single time. But I wanted to share a fun visit story time with you guys. Since we're talking about necklaces, I thought it would be a fun story to share. Again, here's the necklace, my Adam necklace. You can make it longer or shorter. I have it on the shorter setting right now, which is pretty short. You can make it long too. The, oh, I like that. That's cool because you could wear it differently with different shirts. This is cool because you could layer it. I love Speaking of the layered necklace story, I love layered necklaces. If you guys want to see other videos with me, just click one of the videos on the screen. And of course, if you're not subscribed, click the little circle. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.